Hey guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas, and today we're gonna make a really delicious butternut squash soup. This is a simple soup, but everyone who's tasted it usually has a wow reaction to it, because it has a really nice body and creaminess to it without actually adding any cream to the soup, which I think is really nice, because sometimes I have soups, I'm like, this is so creamy and rich and wonderful, but then I'm like, of course it is, because there's tons of cream in here, and like bacon and other heavy things, um, and sometimes it's nice to just have like a more light soup. Um, so all the ingredients here are overall fairly light, but you wouldn't necessarily know it tasting it if you know what I mean. All right, let me show you how to make it. First, we want to peel and cube a butternut squash. So here's a trick I learned from a friend to make it easier to peel. You're gonna poke holes all over with a fork and then microwave it for two minutes and then peel it with a vegetable peeler. Because the outside is slightly cooked, the peel just comes off so much easier than if it's raw. Split the squash in half with a knife and then scoop out all the seeds and stringy stuff with a melon baller or a spoon. And then cut the squash into slices and then into cubes. And they don't have to be perfectly uniform because this is all gonna get blended up later anyway. Melt three tablespoons of butter in a pot over medium heat and in the meantime chop up half a yellow onion you're gonna add that to the butter, season it with a pinch of salt, and let this cook for about five minutes until it's soft. Then add all of your butternut squash cubes, stir that around, and then add an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of brown sugar, and let that cook for 10 minutes to soften slightly. Then you're gonna add three cups of chicken stock. Bring the mixture to a boil and then back down to a simmer. And you can cook this with the lid on for 30 minutes until the squash is fork tender. Then cool the soup down with a cup of milk and blend the soup in batches until it's silky smooth and then it's ready to be served. When you want to serve this soup, if you want some extra visual appeal, you can just drizzle on like a teaspoon of heavy cream or top it with some toasted pumpkin seeds. It's what I've got here because it adds a really nice crunchy texture to the soup. Let me go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. Ugh, oh, wow. This soup is so amazing. It's thick and creamy and luscious and flavorful. I feel like soup is so underrated and it's so sad because it can be so good and so comforting. And the depth of flavor here is awesome. I could totally have five more bowls of this. So one thing that I wanna say about this soup is that you know we added a fair amount of chicken stock to it and you might be thinking like well does this soup taste chickeny <laughs> and it really doesn't it just kind of has this savory base to it but the butternut squash is really what shines here and what i love about it is it's like the savoriness and the sweetness of the butternut squash that are present here um, and it's just really really wonderful way to enjoy fall and the wonderful bounty of squash. Well, hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.